those that do not know me, my name is Liam Watt. My chosen topic is making a video. The thought of making and creating something is very intriguing to me and I felt that the topic is very relevant to current society and the fact of technology, but also the idea of new skills that are possible due to newer technology. Approaching the plan. I thought considering making a video is actually the assessment and I was not very skilled in creating one. What better way to show my learning than through creating the assessment itself? I began by breaking the process down into three main areas, research, practice, and finalization. At first, I researched programs for both recording and editing, making out which programs were easier and more readily used. Throughout this researching task, I used prior knowledge and experiences with different search engines and websites to guide my search. And in turn, I used cognitive constructivist learning theory, an extension of Jean Piaget's cognitive theory to draw on past experiences to construct new ways of approaching the task. Trial and error. In addition, the programs trialed included Movie Maker, OBS, Standard Computer Camera, Phone Camera, Virtual Dub, Blender, Wondershare, Filmora, and more. After consideration, I found that the two that worked best in conjunction was Movie Maker and OBS. During my use of these two programs, over time I found I became accustomed to the processes required to run them whether it be remembering to click record or stop recording in OBS, or how to move recently recorded into chronological order in Movie Maker. These once unknown processes and cognitive actions were now becoming innate responses and by definition, learnt. Research and advice. I furthered my research by asking a few IT friends as well as the use of YouTube tutorials. During this, I asked two main questions. How do I go about making a video using these programs? and how do I best represent my learning in my final assignment. Through these endeavours, I was able to find interesting animations, processes and ways of recording that best demonstrate my skills as a video maker in training. I found that these interactions with technology and people showed using similarities to the social learning theory and impartial social constructivism, a theory that coincides with Gotzi's cognitive learning theory. This was evident as I was able to watch and learn from another whilst constructing my own ideas and processes. I also think that the zone of proximal development applies here as there is only so much I can perform on my own without the help of more experienced editors or movie makers. This again is relevant to Vygotsky's theory. Finalization. Finalization of my video was probably the most lengthy and difficult process as the once recorded videos, voiceovers, animations and slides now need to be pieced together using all that I learned. It was at this stage of my planned process that I realized that not all processes researched and performed were learned. I still needed to refer back to previous videos and websites for guidance. This directly linked to the idea of learning and the theories that represented it, as two stages of learning, acquisition and maintenance were evident. I had acquired a skill, but there was not yet a lengthy maintenance to solidify these new skills as learned. Reflection The overall journey of making videos has been very enlightening. I have learned new skills, which I can apply to other assignments as well as my future learning. It was interesting to see the different ways and processes to which videos can be made, edited and published. But the opportunity to reflect on my own learning was even more so. I was able to identify and witness firsthand the learning theories that best apply to me relevant to this topic, but also I experienced a full capacity to review and reflect. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.